Have you ever told yourself or talked yourself out of having your war room be only because of lack of space? So you are in for a treat, girl. So today's video, I have for you a war room within the living room. You don't have no space, it's okay. Let's think outside the box and make it happen. so happy that you're here my name is Jacqueline and I am your chief warrior here at Girl Amara you will have videos that are going to inspire you into being strong in the Lord I would suggest for you to subscribe and I do videos that are going to be more into faith family um, home and having that fearless life so yes let's get into the video First tip, it would be for you to find a spot within the general living area that makes sense. So you're going to go ahead and scan your whole house. Uh, this video, it's in the living room, but you can go ahead and scan uh, other parts of your house. Um, maybe the basement, um, anywhere really, the kitchen. And you are going to scan and see in the general living area which make more sense this right here was an option number one but this here seems to be the better option so option number two is going to be the general area that we are going to be working in second tip I would say for you to shop for home decor decorations for the home so yes you want to go ahead and pull some actual home decor uh, within your house or if you're going to go shopping specifically for these uh, because these items are going to be part of the war room but also part of the general living area which is going to kind of tie in the two of them Okay, you're going to be bringing in some artificial plants, some frames, some candles, also some chairs, tables, pillows, and blankets. Third tip I would say for you to have a room divider. So bringing in a room divider is going to actually be the key here where you are going to divide both rooms but both rooms are kind of entwined with each other so you're going to bring in uh, the room divider that is going to make sense and it's going to be safe for you and your family fourth tip i would say for you to have privacy elements now privacy element number one would be a wool binder um, you're going to be in the general living area so these are going to still give you what you need but also have some privacy within including this chest you're going to have this chest here in on the floor somewhere and inside you're going to be having your goodies you're going to be having your um, war binder of any kind your bibles uh, you are going to have your journals and notebooks and whatever you're going to have in this general area because there's going to be people that are going to come in and out in your house um, friends and family and they're going to want to kind of scope and see what you got there in that corner um, but then this is an awesome opportunity for you to share and inspire someone to do this as well in their house so yes, once you are use, done using your items, then they will go back inside of your chest and that is the perfect opportunity to have them and keep them private from your general living area, but most importantly from visitors 
that are going to come to your house. And also you can lock it if you would like. And the fifth tip I would be for you to close the room divider when not in use. Go ahead and close your room divider and make it as tight as you can. And now you are going to watch this bad boy come to life. So here we go. Take a good look at this beautiful spot here that is dedicated for you and the Lord. For you to come in here and have that quality time with the Lord. Isn't this beautiful? I mean, I just shopped around my house. Everything in here was free 99 <laughs> for the room room at least. So here we brought in a lamp. And also, we brought in some imitation plants here. I think plants make it definitely inviting. And this uh, frame says, Faith, picture of my family. As for me and my house, we will serve the Lord. Amen. This beautiful candle is by Harper Sky and Company. I would love for you to go ahead and support this young lady trying to rise up as a young entrepreneur here we have our bible opened up to the armor of god bible study within the battle of the mind bible a prayer for victory thank you lord for this wonderful armor that you have given us for our vic victories keys to a victorious life the real enemy this is why we are in our war room and the Lord fighting our battles. And here we have a chair and a blanket when it gets cold and some pillows. Matthew 6, 6. But when you pray, go into your room, close the door and pray to your father who is unseen. Then your father, who sees what is done in secret, will reward you. Amen. I hope you enjoy the making of this war room, and I hope I inspire you to make your very own. Okay, we are going to go ahead and review this beautiful room that you and the Lord are going to have that, that special time together. Enjoy.
Level Up, The Warrior from Women. Thank you so much for hanging out with me. I'll see you in the next video. God bless you. Bye-bye.